Evening, back again tonight um, to review another chili by from Trident John. Um, this is the Senegal Habanero, which is really, really pretty. It's a lovely orange colour. You can just about pick it out if I turn the, the light so it picks it up. Mm, there we go, just about. So. A gorgeous colour, nice gnarly looking pod. Um, as the name suggests, it's from Senegal in West Africa. Um, supposed to be a sort of typical habanero heat. Um, John only sent one pod, so my little chili chum and myself um, are going to cut this one open. We're going to pause the video Sorry, Dad. and we're going to uh, take some seats out and then we're going to. Have a try. So, right, bear with me a second. Right, there you go, Andy. Cut the pod open. Be very careful. Be careful. Right. So let's open this up. So there's what you can see. Oh wow! It it's smells like a habanero. The smell. Yeah, that does. Oh, that smells hot. Oh. So obviously not a super hot, but it smells like it. Smells like a hot chinense. You won't be able to pick up there, but there is oil all over the placenta. Mm. See if I can get it to focus. No. No, it doesn't want to focus on it. But take it from me. There is oil all over the presenter there. Mm. Smells fresh and fruity like a hab. So we're going to take the seeds out and we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. So what we're going to do, Indy's going to try a little bit of the oil off the knife. So there's the. Just about see it. So go on and try that. Okay, that's hot. <laughs> Certainly hotter than the fermented in aid. Um, so there you go. I've taken the seeds out. There's only a few in there. Um, so it's certainly not going to, even if I'd have left them in there, this, it certainly wouldn't have been bitter uh, from the seeds. But let's give it a go. It is very hot. And see what we think. It's a reasonable size pod. It's about the size of about the size of my thumb. There we go. A little bit, a little bit smaller. Right. Nice and crispy. Nice crunch. Definite hab fruitiness and sharpness. Um, that's a swallow. You can get the the, the floral taste of it. Almost almost bitter acidic taste to it at the end um, pod wasn't a hundred percent right as you saw there was this little green spot on on one side but um, <clears throat> certainly the hottest of the the pods I've tried from Trident Chili um, typical have burn for me anyway at the back of the mouth little bit down the throat tiny bit on the tip of the tongue but not a huge amount um, yeah it's reasonably warm um, about the same as a typical hab and uh, scotch bonnet so should we say 
five, maybe. Um, yeah, salivating a little bit. It's it's not an unpleasant taste, but it's just a little bitter for me and sour and almost sharp. Um, so I'd have to mark it down on the heat, probably five on the heat and taste. Not my favourite, certainly not as tasty as the Pimenta de Nave. Um, somewhere down about four for, for taste. Um, we'll see how long, how long the heat lasts. I suspect not very long, it's starting to wear off. Um, yeah, it's peaked, it's subsiding now. I don't know how Indy's coping, whether he's uh, still drinking his milk, I think he's taking it with him. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's peaked, it's starting to dissipate now. So it's actually got a bit stronger on the tip of the tongue and less so in the back of the mouth. Um, anyway, from India myself, catch you later. Cheers.